Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. Today we are the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. We're taking on, oh that was a terrible pass, Fulham in the Barclays Premier League. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about the Lord's Resistance Army today. Something that's been very much in the news, if you pay attention at least to social media. Uh, the charity Invisible Children, um, known for their, oh gosh, outreach and work on this subject has uh, released a new video, a, a gut-wrenching um, and also very inspiring 30-minute documentary talking about the history of the LRA and, um, and what we can do to help. Um, it's been a really interesting day in the world of people who care about such things because, oh, oh, you had to finish there. Beef stock, I expect better of you. Um, because it's very, very rare to see this kind of energy um, appear almost out of nowhere about, come on, finish, um, about, about charity work. Uh, particularly because the LRA, nothing, like nothing happened. There was no news story. The LRA was, was uh, evil uh, yesterday. They were evil 10 years ago, um, and they're evil today. And yet it was all at once that this, um, that this movement emerged. It's really exciting to people who care about, um, you know, care about the Internet's ability to mobilize people to make the world a better place. Um, uh, and, and then, of course, there's, a, there's an, an inevitable uh, backlash because, well, and some of it, some of it justified because um, how can you not finish from there? By the way, the Swinnertown Swoodoo Poopers are playing fantastic. We, aren't, we haven't scored yet, but my goodness. Um, we're still on the same skill level, I promise. So, um, uh, in, uh, you know, because, because Invisible Children has, uh, you know, there are, there are, and I think to, to many, to some extent, legitimate concerns about their financial transparency. And um, if you go to, you know, websites that, uh, that, that look at, you know, where, where charity dollars are best spent, like Charity Navigator, um, they have some some concerns uh, that that haven't been very effectively addressed about the work that Invisible Children has done, um, and there's the fact that you know the actual business of um, dealing with the LRA is extremely complicated. And in the last, you know, the truth is that in the last, um, oh, how can we not be finishing from these beautiful crosses? Um, in the last uh, two years. Uh, things have changed dramatically for the better in terms of how the United States government um, is dealing with um, with the with the LRA, including that there are now uh, military advisors um, from members of the United States Armed Forces uh, on the ground in Uganda working um, with um, uh, working with the army there to fight. Uh, the LRA. For those of you who don't know what this is, by the way, um, the LRA is this hideous uh, organization that basically is just like, at this point, just a mercenary organization that uses child soldiers to, um, yeah, to murder people and wreak terrible havoc. What are you giving me a yellow card for, for being handsome? I don't, I cannot possibly understand what that yellow card was for. Can I see a replay? I got a yellow card for, for that? That's, that's just hugging with ankles. Um, anyway, I'm very disappointed in Ball John Green for getting a yellow card, but I, I don't think that he should get a yellow card for being an ankle hugger. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so anyway, this, uh, um, you know, the internet, the internet news cycle, Hank and I posted about this on Tumblr, there's a link in the doobly-doo, but the, the internet news cycle moves very fast, you know, I mean, something that, something that, that feels, uh, feels important on the internet one day can be completely forgotten on the internet the next day and that's always been one of our um one of our concerns that's one of the reasons we organized the project for awesome the way we did um can we just find a way to finish guys because we're dominating the game um w is because we wanted um you know we understand we understand that things on the internet go away quickly so we wanted it to be you know like a quick project uh once a year um with something like this, it'll be it'll be what'll be most interesting to see is how the internet responds to this problem long term, because there is no doubt um, that this is a very very serious uh, problem that's been facing the world for a long time, um, and and you know one of the I think one of the reasons that some people were frustrated with the kind of like overall internet response to this is that 
Oh, what a great job. French the Lana from a bald John Green pass. That's new school Swindon Town Swoodly Pooper football right there. That's how we play on the 4 3 3. I love the way that we're playing right now. This is just fantastic to see. All of a sudden, the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers not looking like a team that's going to struggle to stay out of the relegation zone in the Barclays Premier League. All of a sudden, looking like a team that could finish, I don't know, 12th, 11th. Who knows? The sky's the limit. We are 34 points out of first place, so I don't think that we're going to win. Um, uh, so, so the question, the, que the question is, how do you how do you use this very positive energy um, to make change uh, and to dismantle the LRA and and to um, and and that that business turns out is going to be very very complicated and it's going to take a long time regardless of whether the leaders of the LRA are imprisoned or killed, whether the, um, you know, the army is effectively dismantled, there will still be the problem of, um, you know, 1,500 or 2,000 child soldiers uh, who will have a very difficult time integrating back into their communities. And so the, the, the work of this will take um, years, not hours. And the Internet news cycle um, can at times only pay attention to things things for hours and so the challenge the, the challenge that that we face being both residents of the internet and people who uh, want to you know be a part of making meaningful changes in the world and decreasing world suck the biggest challenge that we face on that front is paying sustained attention um, and that that is really difficult um, that's why, that's why, by the way, Hank and I have a longstanding policy, great pass ball, John Green, of not paying, a, um, not making Vlogbrothers videos about, about news stories while the internet is doing a good job of talking about them, because during the time the internet is doing a good job of talking about them, we don't feel like we need to add our voice. The time when we feel like we need to add our voice is when, um, you know, when, when, attention has has strayed a little bit or when you know the focus isn't there so you know we weren't talking about pakistan when or right when um benazir bhutto was killed we, we talked about pakistan you know two months before and, and four months after when um when pakistan wasn't as much in the news um we don't talk about you know nepal when it's in the middle of a military coup we talk about nepal ball john green finish no Dang it. That was a premature finisher. Should have passed a French the la, 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 Lana. Ball John Green, he just loves to finish. That's the problem. Um, so, um, and, and that'll be the case with, with this as well. I mean, I'm much less interested in making a video about the LRA right now um, than I, he was outside. He was outside. Thank you. Than I will be um, in four or six or eight months um, when, when, you know, the, the, the sort of hive mind of the internet might be paying a little bit less attention to it. On that front, yesterday I made a video about Syria, um, and you know I'd been wanting to make a video about Syria for weeks, and I was ta I kept talking to Hank about it, and you know he kept reminding me of this um, uh, of this this belief that we have that we don't need to be part of conversations when the internet is already doing a good job, and you know for a long time I felt like you know the we were doing as an online community a really good job of paying attention to the stories coming out of Syria um, and then I think uh, the focus flagged a little bit and it made sense to to make a video um, and so that's go off the post off the post for ball John Green boy I mean you gotta say Fulham have not looked good today that's not to say that they won't necessarily come back and squeeze a point out of us because we do give up a lot of goals, but they have not looked great. And I'm proud of my boys, even though they seem a little tired. Maybe I need to make some substitutions. I see a lot of guys with hands on knees. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take out, take out the John Greens, put in some Stone Cold Steve Austin, some voluptuous Paracard. So voluptuous. And um, do we have anybody... Mr. Fay, he's tired. He tires easily. I don't want to. I don't like to criticize. Leroy Williamson would be an appropriate substitution in this situation. There we go. All three substitutions at once, just like professional football managers do. Um, 
So the real question, the real question for me is, is twofold. Can we as an Internet community do our due diligence to try to understand um, international and I mean, whether they're, they're problems at home or abroad to understand uh, problems and how best to address them. Can we do our due diligence to do the research, to pay attention, um, and then can we pay sustained attention? And those are, those are two separate questions, but to me they're equally important. The question of whether, whether we can, you know, uh, you know, will we be, will we be, I, I, I thought that Invisible Children video was, was beautiful. Um, it was, it was beautifully done and it was inspiring and it fired me up. Um, but like then, then the job is to you know to go to Wikipedia and to go to um, reputable news sources and to read up on the last ten and twenty years of history on this topic to understand what the U.S. government is is doing and what the governments of Uganda and South Sudan and the Central African Republic and the DRC are doing um, to uh, to battle the Lord's Resistance Army it is what they're doing sufficient? Does it make sense? Should there be a different strategy? Those become, th that becomes the conversation after, after, you know, after researching the, the topic. And then once you've, you know, once you've sort of done your due diligence and you've, you've figured out what you think the appropriate response is, then the job becomes the, the, the slow, messy business of paying sustained attention over a long period of time. And that, um, you know that isn't easy, and it isn't uh, it isn't always um, you know it doesn't always feel as exciting I guess as it can feel when you're in that first moment of of discovering something that you're passionate about. Um, but that's really where the good work gets gets done is in is in the business of of daily um, daily and sustained attention. So that's that that's sort of my my response to this burgeoning movement is that I hope that. Um, it continues to move, and um, even more importantly, I hope that we, uh, you know, we continue to to figure out, you know, as a as a as a group and as individuals, what what makes sense. Like, what is the proper response here? Are you injured? Are you for real injured? Are, oh no, we won! Congratulations to the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers forcing Fulham to smell their armpits in shame. Voluptuous pair card. With some good play, he had a nice run to uh, seal the deal. Merrick, Merrick, silent, but as always, talented.